I'm in Budapest, Hungary. Demonstration kicks things off. 2,000 spectators crowded into the National Sports Hall for this new and popular event. Well, competitive aerobics has gone from strength to strength over the last few years, and this cup event has been added to the international program, giving more competitors the opportunity to take part. It's also used as a springboard to some of the bigger events. The Suzuki Cup is very much a showcase for new talent. Well, there are 12 countries participating here in four categories. Individual, men and women, pairs, and finally groups. This competitor is from Italy. Her name's Orietta Tamantini. Great routine from the Italian. And the judges are going to be looking for a lot of skills here. Quite a complicated system of judging for aerobics. Seven judges allocate marks for skill and presentation of the routine. The skill category counts for 60% of the marks. Judges looking for strength, flexibility, how the moves are executed, and the exercise content of the routine. see here this is one of the compulsory exercises this is good variation on the theme of the abdominal exercise here four consecutive abdominal work well there were very strong alternating high leg kicks just going into the single arm push up Good routine from the Italian. Here, yeah, just seeing highlights of her individual routine. Going into a pancake position there. Very difficult move to execute. And then, particularly for girls, difficult to do the one arm press. Moving on now to Christine Thomas from Switzerland. Going into the pike and into the press. Control. Attention. Attention. Mission. Impossible. Attention. Attention. Mission. Impossible. Well, the skill category counts for 60% of the marks. The judges are looking for the strength here. 40% on presentation. And the Swiss girl certainly knows how to do that. Very inventive choreography here. She's based the routine on a theme of, I think it's fly swatting. You'll see the motif recur as the music progresses. You hear the sound of a fly incorporated into the music. Shouldering the leg nicely. She's got great flexibility. Perhaps lacks a little elevation.
There's that fly swatting I was talking about. Fun music. Judges will like that. Nice spatial awareness from the Swiss girl. Well, she got that fly. Be well pleased with that. And the final moments again. Beautiful lift there into the Shushanova, the straddle, and then the press. Knee tuck and the V hold. Excellent strength there. And a move normally only done by the males. She's gone into that split V move. High kicks, the four consecutive high kicks. Very good. And she scored 6.85 out of a maximum 10 points. Well, Andrea Simko from Hungary. Shouldering the leg, straight into that, into the Shushanova. She'll be looking to include all the compulsory exercises and points are deducted if they're not completed in the prescribed manner. So four consecutive jumping jacks you'll be looking for, alternating high leg kicks, abdominal curls and the four push-ups. There you see the abdominals. And anything extra will impress the judges. But you've got to be careful too not to do anything that's too acrobatic. Anything that doesn't look like aerobics, the judges aren't going to warm to. That's a difficult move there. Good balance. Well, into the pancake. Great amount of flexibility there. Full turn, back into the push. One arm, one leg push up. Excellent. Split jump in the air, scissor kick. into the double split. Good dance moves incorporated here too. Nice movement in the hips. Very nice presentation. So just taking a look at the highlights of her routine again. Andrea Simko, and that was the cabriole to finish. Well, here's a competitor who was going to do really well all along. Excellent body definition. Marks awarded for that, of course. You just take a look at those abdominal muscles. Carmen Valderas. Very strong. She's agile, she's flexible, superb routine. Into the side splits. Choosing some technically very difficult moves. Of course, in the presentation scores, marks will be allocated for not just the choreography, but the showmanship and the appearance. Very strict rules about what you wear in an aerobics competition. To wear flesh-colored tights, therefore seeing the definition in the legs.
Nice choice of costume. Really revealing cut abs and very strong back. Look at those one arm presses. Very wide V. Carmen's using a very interesting way of putting all, linking all the compulsories together. And sometimes you can't actually tell the consecutive jumps, they, they look quite different. And that's the helicopter. Shouldering the leg. Dynamic performance. Carmen Valderas. Look at the height she gets on that jump. Lying in the prone position. And this very difficult helicopter movement. You need real strength in the abdominal muscles there. Moving into the pancake and through into the push. Well, there she is. And that was good enough to give Carmen the gold. So Carmen Valderas takes gold. Andrea Simco takes the silver. And Christine Thomas from Switzerland takes bronze medal. Well, as I said earlier, this is a new event, but really acting as a showcase for the new talent on the scene. And of course, the World Championships coming up in June in Las Vegas, and these girls will be looking to go there. So up go the flags. Spain, Hungary, and Switzerland. Excellent performance from Carmen Valderas. So that was the women's individual event. Competitors from 12 countries. Some great talent here today. Join us after the break for the men's individuals.